the Great Lakes, the largest bodies of fresh water in the world. Home to thousands of water enthusiasts, fishermen, those who make their living on the lakes, as well as commercial shipping along waterways from port to port. What was once a pristine environment is now being threatened. The culprit, invasive species. Many of these invasive species travel in the ballast water of ships that travel the Great Lakes. Ships take on ballast water in foreign ports and they come to the Great Lakes and when they're taking on cargo in the Great Lakes, they pump that ballast water into the Great Lakes. That water also contains all of the organisms that were in the water when it was pumped in in the foreign port. Invasive species are bad for the Great Lakes because they can interfere with economic activity and they can also cause bad effects on the ecology. Some examples of how invasive species are bad for the Great Lakes are the arrival of the zebra mussels. They clog water intake pipes, they filter algae out of the water competing with other organisms. They can also leave their shells on the beach where people cut their feet. Thanks to a grant from the Great Lakes Protection Fund, the RAM Laboratory at Wayne State University has begun working with government regulators, ship owners, manufacturers, and the Great Ships Initiative to develop and test an ingenious and unique device designed to detect live organisms in the ballast water of ships in order to tell if ballast treatment systems have been effective. My name is Sifat Noman. I work on the automated fluorescence intensity detection device at Wayne State and my role as the lead engineer is to design the software and hardware automation aspects of the project. So what this device does is it lets us understand if a ballast water treatment was effective in removing organisms from ballast tanks. What makes our device unique compared to other means for testing for base of species? The other means are not automated. Ours automatically processes the water in order to tell whether there are live organisms in it. The advantage is we can analyze the water rapidly and automatically. Basically, anybody can do it. You push a button and the process starts. I'm remotely monitoring the automated system. We don't even have to be on the ship in order to test the water. All we have to do is activate the equipment through an internet-enabled connection. And we've done that. We did a test down in Baltimore and I controlled it in Detroit. Working together with ship owners, government, and the Great Ships Initiative, these systems will be designed to be installed on ships and simple to use at all times. In doing this project for the Great Lakes Protection Fund, we've not only developed the technology, we've try to involve the stakeholders, those who would use the system, in their work. They brought people from all walks of life, from, from all the different disciplines, from the ship owner, from the regulator, to the scientist, all got together in one collaborative effort, and that's where problems like ballast water get solved. We need ballast water verification so that we can tell whether those treatment systems are successful in doing what they're tasked to do. Rapid and automatic measurement of the effectiveness of ballast treatment systems will directly and accurately inform the decisions of people whose job it is to protect the health of the Great Lakes and reduce the likelihood of new invasions by damaging organisms.